Good morning, everyone. I'm here. The school president waited many weeks to make this announcement. I'm so excited to let you know that we are the winning bidder on our buildings. We now own our own school building. St. Bonaventure's College is ours. And the joy bells were ringing at the Basilica Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. This massive church that has dominated the St. John's landscape for more than 150 years, this Jesuit private school, and this skating rink have all been sold. It's, it's unbelievably good news. A joint committee consisting of the Basilica Heritage Foundation, St. Bonaventure's College, Inc., and St. Bon's Forum Corporation have submitted the winning bid for the block of buildings and the nine acres on which they're located. The feeling that we have now is really one of relief and euphoria and, frankly, excitement for the future. The Archdiocese of St. John's is selling off its vast holdings of properties under a court-monitored insolvency process. It's in response to a Supreme Court of Canada ruling last year that left the Archdiocese liable for abuse at the Mount Cashel Orphanage in St. John's between the 1940s and 60s. The total amount of claims is not yet determined, but early estimates say it could surpass 50 million for dozens of survivors. The deadline for bids for some two dozen churches and other properties in the St. John's area closed on June 2nd. The Joint Committee wanted to get these buildings to save them, but there was interest from condo developers in Toronto. The process over the last few months was um, incredibly stressful and it was really tough, it was, i got to be honest with you. It's not known if there were competing bids. Since this still has to be approved by a judge, Rob Blackie would not say exactly how much the committee raised. But it was north of three million, with hundreds of donations, some very large, coming from across Canada. We're incredibly grateful and humbled by the support. Meanwhile, the 300 students and 50-plus staff at St. Bonds were breathing a little easier today. Hello, my name is Chloe Flusk, and I'm really happy that we have ownership of St. Bonds now, and I get to stay here to grade 12. <laughs> so now we get to have ownership, and yeah, it's just happy. Now we have this certain future. You know, we, we're going to be paving our new path, see what, you know, what comes, but we're really excited. The Basilica Heritage Foundation released a statement saying, As a group, our intentions will remain focused on the preservation of this historic, culturally significant, and spiritual landmark. Now that the school owns the building, it's really about taking care and it's about planning for the future. While they were celebrating at St. Bonds and at the Basilica today, this is yet another reminder of a dark chapter in the history of the Roman Catholic Church in this province. I was talking to some of the lawyers today who represent the abuse survivors, and they say they're encouraged by this first sale. It's a start, they say, when it comes to compensating the survivors. Terry Roberts, CBC News, St. John's.